September is the month where I aim to run 100 kilometres to raise money to fund the science to find a cure for paediatric brain cancer. Please support me if you can. Now, B is for basic. Now, basic in its original form was an interpreter. Uh, one of the first forms of basic was written for the Altair computer in 1975. It was written in the assembly language and it was written by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, founders of Microsoft. There's also the first known version of vaporware that I'm aware of anyway, because essentially they found out about the Altair computer in a hobbyist magazine, contacted the CEO and said, hey, we've written this basic interpreter, do you want a demo? CEO said, yeah, absolutely. Then they went, holy crap, now we're gonna to have to write this thing. Fortunately, Paul Allen had already written an interpreter for another computer architecture, so it was a matter of porting that. What's really impressive is that they did that without ever having access to an Altair computer. And so they flew down to New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico. On the flight, they realized they hadn't actually, they didn't have a bootstrap program, so something that would load their interpreter when the Altair booted. So Paul Allen wrote that on the flight to Albuquerque. They then turned up, pitched up, loaded it onto the Altair, worked first time, demoed it to the CEO. Amazing. Uh, and that was the start of Microsoft. That was their first commercially viable piece of software. Uh, certainly cemented in Bill and Paul's minds that uh, this new industry was going to explode. The personal computer market, but what was really required was software. That first basic for the Altair ran on 4K. It was a 4K machine. And after loading the interpreter, there was only 790 bytes available for the program. Not really a lot of code that you could write. But then subsequently there was an 8K and a 16K version. So you were absolutely flush with space so you could write programs in basic to your heart's content. Okay, cheers.